No, I got it done oh, somewhere else. Okay. Like oh. I'll, I'll set it and then it'll run for like 30 mm -hmm. seconds. And it's like the same. Mm -hmm. so this this one looks like it's right. Can I open this up? Yeah. And I can change the... That is a beautiful, beautiful price. Of Tesla? So that was Pro Samgipsol. This is literally down the street from that pocha I was telling you guys about in the last vlog. And yeah, Glenview, if you're looking for some proper K food and you're in Chicagoland area, just pop over to Glenview. Literally a H Mart across the street. Where are we going right now? Bungalow. Middle Brow Bungalow for some tavern style pizza. This is who I was with when we were eating the K food and the footage got lost. Yeah, it's not going to be good to do it. Either. Yeah, 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 so sweet, so you're right. Um, uh, um, like, no spots. I don't know how I'm going to charge. I don't know. 
wear a blazer at all. It sounds like really thin. Maybe not this one. Maybe I'll chop it up. It's like that moment I was telling you about when I was out in London. How was the food and which pie was your favorite? Food was good. I think top sausage pie is better. Any replay value in this place? I would do it again. I would try, yeah. I would try the regular pies. You gotta try pies. the regular pies, yeah, yeah definitely. Think, what about yeah. the ambiance here? It's good vibes. It's a, it's Summer a good vibes, weeknight, right? weeknight spot. Yes, sir. I like the Tuesday idea. The Tavern Tuesday, tavern, yeah. Tavern for sure. Sure. did a car wash I lent my car to the OG to drive out to Toronto there's like a bunch of dead bugs I don't even know if properly cleaned all the dead bugs off my like car but it is what it is um, I like to keep the car like you know pretty presentable most most days most of the time I'm also the type of person that likes to keep the car very empty I don't like having like a bunch of shit in my car all cluttered I never eat in my car I do drink stuff coffee water but yeah I try to keep the car as empty as possible I don't have any attachments in the car even though I probably need one for my phone but Need a bowl for Ningmyeon. It'd be a crime if I left this place without kimchi dumplings. Got my five kimchi dumplings. Let's go. That's wild. I just spent like probably a good two hours in there just bowling, bro. <laughs> Grocery shopping, had a meal. I wasn't even gonna eat, to be honest, but as you can see, it's kind of gloomy out. So I was like, okay, let me get my yuke jang. And then, kimchi dumplings, you just, you just gotta get it. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Oh my God, it's like steaming up my windshield. I'm gonna tie this, cause these things, ah. They just stink up the car. Like a good stink, not like a stinky stink. You know what I mean? It's been exactly a week since I sprained my ankle, but I feel good to go. So I'm gonna tag along to the runs. I'm just gonna shoot around. I'm not gonna actually play, but Tuesday I'll make my the return.
crazy, but I have a package shipped to me from the lady from Korea. Korea. And I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. This thing is huge. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This, I can't show you guys just yet. This is a birthday gift, so I'm gonna have to wait a few more days till my birthday before I can show what's in here. This is a, just a, a, a tray from Home Plus. This is from Home Plus, I believe. 5,000 won, which is less than $5. This is a bigger tray than the one I brought back from my trip to Korea. And yeah, it's good for seasoning, meats, and resting foods, basically. This is a very highly recommended sunscreen brand. This is a sunscreen stick. Can't get these here. And be careful if you try to find this on Amazon, there's a lot of counterfeits. So you can just apply it. It's so sick. And then from the same brand, these are the tube versions. It's a one plus one deal. So got two of these tube size, SPF 50 plus these products. Look at how much she sent me. Oh my gosh. So this is my, I guess, moisturizer. Is that a brand called Frankly? And it has like a nice dropper to it. Love it. And then this is the toner, also from the same brand. Toner moisturizer. Here's another early birthday gift. I'll have to wait to show you guys this. But let's speed through this real quick because there's a lot of stuff in here. This is just like a charm. This, rep this is supposed to be her dog, Gucci. A fish snack. Supposedly, it's really hard to get these in Korea. Baskin Robbins snacks. I have a few flavors here. This is the uh, Very Berry Strawberry. This one is the New York Cheesecake. And chocolate mousse. Pimple patches, 165 patches. I love using these. This is the best way to heal your acne. Since we're unboxing things, finally have a new kitchen appliance. Oh my God, another box? Jeez. Bermuda, toaster, oven, sandwiches, grilled cheese, heating up pizza, heating up cookies, heating up bagels. It's all going to be different from now on. As you know, this is very expensive um, for a toaster oven, at least like my budget for a toaster oven, but I've wanted one for so long and we finally have one. I went with the black and gold colorway. Comes in like four colors, I think. And yeah, look at this. Yeah, how you open this thing? Oh, it's taped up. I think. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that. I can't wait to put this into action. Right now we're heading to this, it's like a taco chain from Mexico. There's there's a bunch of locations. There's like eight in New York. It's called Tacombi, and it really reminds me of uh, Los Tacos number one. So we're gonna check it out right now. It is not cheap. Two of the Baja Crispy Fish is already $14. Right off the bat, 
everything is pretty pricey and the portions are pretty small. I don't really care about portions, but let's see the flavor. Tacos number one. Okay. Tacos are good. And I like the location. I like the vibe in here. It's yeah, we're good. all family right here. Trying to flex. It's a chain, right? Eventually, no, no, it's actually not a chain. It's not a chain. It's a one owner type. He started off in um, Violet Carmen, and then from there he moved on to um, to New York. But then he moved in. But the one in Violet Academy pulled it down. You guys sell out in, the, in sizes yet? Depends on what size we talk. We sold out of small sizes. Like, what's small? Like, smaller than eight? Uh, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. All right, a couple things. First of all, the worker that I was talking to at Tacombi was like, this isn't a chain, it's one owner, but a chain is just any restaurant that has like more than like a few locations. This one has like over 10. And secondly, with Notra, I'm so glad I didn't whip out my card and buy those Solomons. Jesus Christ. Good morning. I am actually on campus right now because we're going to eat a breakfast here. It's actually my birthday, so I'm eating with the OGs. <laughs> got a phone call that uh, cake is being delivered. The lady ordered a custom cake from some Korean lady in the suburbs of Chicago, so I'm gonna meet her at the door now. All right, so I just got the cake. Um, I tipped her because she drove from so far in traffic. These are peak hours, you know? I'm gonna call the lady and give her a reaction to the cake because I don't know what the cake's supposed to look like or what it looks like because it's a custom cake that I didn't order. Thank you. It was out. I'm gonna I'm gonna open the cake and take a look. Did you write this letter or who wrote this letter? I asked you. Ah. Well, I wanna see the yeah, I'm taking off the ribbon right now. Oh, oh how'd she tie this? Oh. That's funny, because she told you, like, have a great day. I told her that I wanted to tip her, and she's like, oh, it's okay. She's driving a nice car. <laughs> she's, driving a, she's driving a really nice car. Really? Yeah. It's a, I think it's an EV, BMW. She, she's Korean, that's why. She doesn't want to get it to Ooh. Happy birthday, my Jin. 
She thought I was Korean, even though she saw the name? Yeah. No, no way. How is the cake? She's six, you know. Hmm. Oh, is this her like, is, is this like her like brand or something? Her brand name? Lin Lindy Home Cake? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. She's funny, you're gonna tip her she's, oh, it's okay. <sighs> it's pretty, the cake's really pretty. Today is my birthday, but instead of being out, having a nice dinner, celebrating, I'm about to start class. Recording in progress. Day of learning technical things. We're going to talk about some software tools. So I got two cakes for the B day. This is the custom one from some um, Korean lady here in the sh sh suburbs, and then this is from Paris Baguette. I think in green. In the green. Like that. No. No one. Okay, I'll do one and one then. Why don't you do one red, one green? Happy birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. Pretty tall, actually. Oh wow! Oh, what is that? Is like peaches? Peach in there? It's. It looks like orange. It looks like tangerines or like mandarin. I wonder if it's any good, huh? Hmm. It tastes really clean. This year, I have been very busy. Uh, classes, interviews. Just a lot of adult stuff going on, you know what I mean? And it's kind of funny because I remember last year I was telling myself, eh, it's kind of embarrassing to say because of how just ambitious it, it is, but I was telling myself that I want to be in a different country for my birthday every year. And obviously this year I already did two international trips, so the pockets is hurting and a third international trip just it wasn't going to happen, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm um, about to go eat lunch with Simon, we're eating Italian, and oh, I've got this Homer mini AOK -okay pendant. 20 inch chain length from the OG as a birthday gift and then also this from the little bro by Reto. Mm. This stuff is not cheap. This is my first by Reto fragrance. Probably my most expensive fragrance actually when I'm this is up there. This is very expensive. So, and then I'm going to change into another outfit for dinner because I have a reservation for dinner. Today is the day I'm actually celebrating my birthday because yesterday was busy with class and stuff. Today I'm pretty free. Yeah. Bro, I haven't been there. Do you think oh, you I'm paying? Oh, I thought you have. Bro, the reason I'm going to Kyoto next door is because it's cheaper than Kyoto, you know? Yeah. 500 for an omakase is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's not ridiculous. That, no, I'm no, not comfortable with it. Up. No, I feel like... There's expensive tasting menus out there, though. I'm yeah, saying. No, 500 no. is like... 
It might not be like on the high end. Like this restaurant was actually on the bear. Got a little white wine. I got the focaccia with the uh, honey ricotta, I think. Cheers, bro. I think with the honey ricotta, it's gonna snap right now. I think you might snap. This looks proper too. It's in that and everything. And everything. I mean, 1 to 10 though? I mean, where else would you find a better pasta though? Like, I don't fucking know. Like, if it's body type shit. That was just dumb proper and so clean and dumb just like... Proper. That's a good way to put some, it. Some like homemade Italian food. Like, I like that they weren't serving us so we could just leave right away. So you'd, rec you'd recommend the spot, right? I would recommend the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Had to put your phone down? Last time I came, this whole like middle section was just cleaned out, bro. and freshened up, changed and everything. We're going to dinner and doing an omakase with the Rose. Um, haven't had an omakase here in Chicago since graduation, literally. This place is called Kyoten Next Door because it's located next door to Kyoten, which is probably the most expensive omakase we have here in Chicago. It's like 500 a pop. Not going to Kyoten for strong reasons we're going to Kyoto next door it's much more affordable just classic Edo era omakase it's not a huge time commitment more affordable and yeah it should be very proper
that was Kyoto next door. That was just a phenomenal experience. Uh, flavors were so complex, but yet so traditional, so simple, so straightforward. Yeah, I, I just, that was just such a great experience. Can't recommend it enough. Hospitality was on point. The vibe in there was just nice. I staff were really friendly, and they gave me like a free candle at the end. Yeah, you know me. I love omakase, sushi omakase, and that's just how I like to celebrate things. Haven't had a sushi omakase in Chicago since my graduation. 26 now. I don't know how that happened. I blame the little, not even little, the COVID blip where I went from 22 to 25, you know? And yeah, now I'm entering my late 20s, not even mid 20s anymore. Anything after 25, it's late 20s. And this is just, this is just when everyone's, I just feel an increasing pressure to make my mark as a 26 year old. Almost my 30s, I really need to, you know, cement myself in something, some way, shape, or form. Happy birthday to me. Logging on the iPhone cam today. Back to the OG vlogs. Uh, we're going to a Sox game with a couple of uh, brothers from the fraternity, if you will. So, should be a good time. End of summer vibes. Yeah, I mean, that's the news, but... Hello. Oh, uh... Oh God. Yeah, we have like cheers. Really? Is it this one? Just so wherever. Don't matter. Who is batting in this ballpark? Ah, uh, right there. Sammy. What the fuck do you know? Right there. The Tigers. Charge. Oh, you guess? Yeah. Fuck. Right, well. It's only use of the Osh I'm not sure. Well, you better get to it. Look at this thing. And then the fries underneath. Look how big the fuck. I think because the can was like horizontal. So it's as if someone shook it. Happy Friday. It is currently 11.35. My week is finally over. By the way, hair theory is so real. Literally, I just completed my third interview this week. And whenever I interview, I throw on these glasses that my girl got me. And then I also do this like little three fourths part instead of like down the middle. And I'll just like slick it back and tie it up and just look super professional, take my earrings out, whatever. And uh, yeah, um, welcome to the outro of this video. It's been about a week since I last vlogged. A week ago was when I was at the Sox game with a couple of the brothers. And yeah, it's been a hectic week, interviews, class. I'm not complaining because interviews are so hard to get job market is dookie and yeah i mean i'd rather be have a bunch of staggered interviews overlapping than have none and you know experience the radio silence which i've definitely experienced and yeah any of you guys out there on the job market grinding keep at it you know keep your foot on the gas and just you know, power through. You know that one like graphic where like there's two people digging for gold and one person turns around and the other one's like, or turns around when he's like literally right there at the gold. Yeah, just remember that, you know? Trials and tribulations, you get me. Just wanted to round off the vlog and like, uh, I, I kind of like just, you know, chatting and like catching up and stuff like that. Oh, what's going on? Oh, today's actually my mom's birthday. So I'm gonna go run some errands, get her some flowers, things of that nature. And yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just rambling, but 
oh back to last week literally i was i was talking about youtube to um the brothers in my fraternity and they're like we know like we watch all your videos and i'm like wait what like i had no idea you guys even tuned in you know i have no idea who who's tuned into this channel to be honest because y'all just don't be commenting like you guys don't like to listen or something because i tell you guys to like comment subscribe follow the ig and like literally five percent of you guys do that you know anyway yeah i think that's just dope i think it's nice because it's kind of like they're they're keeping in touch with me even though i'm so like busy everyone's busy not just myself but as we getting older 26 now i feel old but i know i'm not that old you know late 20s now anyway um that wraps it up for the video i will see you guys very soon We had this wine before. Mm. This cake looks way better than mine. Yeah, of course. So pretty. Yeah, it is. So. And then also the top cake and the bottom cake are different flavors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Woo! All three wish. And then. Thank you. Yep, I'll take over. Uh, so smooth. Baby doesn't want to give me any credit. Cut yeah. this one first. Oh, I don't want to give you it. It's like half. On the second half of the cake, what flavor do you think this is going to be? Mm. It's yeah. two flavors for sure? Mm. Two different flavors. Also, I was going to, I was going to like, you know. Like... Oh my gosh. Kill it?